Hey, what's going on everybody? So today's video is going to be short and sweet. Uh, no fancy intros, nothing like that. Just want to get right down to it. So I ran into a problem and I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. The problem was I needed to compare the firewall policies that were imported into a firewall, into a FortiGate from a different brand, from a different vendor. Um, unfortunately, the FortiGates don't have a built-in function to export the firewall policies to like a CSV file or an Excel file. Uh, which would make comparison easy. So what I ended up having to do was I found this this technical tip here, which uh, references a script. As you can see here, it's a Python script. Uh, and it, uh, it gives you the GitHub, and I'll, I'll put all the links in the uh, description for this video. But it gives you the GitHub, uh, and you can go there and take a look around. But if you read the description here and the steps, it gets kind of complicated pretty quickly. It's talking about, um, you know, for one, copying out the firewall policies from the main config, saving it to a different file, uh, copying it to a Unix or Linux-based operating system, uh, getting the scripts on there, running them, copying the files back. It's kind of um, convoluted and a little bit messy, and you don't need to do all these steps. You can do all this work on your Windows machine. So that's that's what the point of this video is. I'm going to show you how to, how to simplify this process here. So as I mentioned, uh, this GitHub is here. We can go here, take a look at it, and uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five files. Now keep in mind, this one's a Perl script, uh, the one that says uh, ends in .pl, first commit, seven years ago. Uh, you don't want to accidentally grab that one. But uh, we can read here, and it tells you, FG, FG policy to CSV script extracts policies and comes in two languages, Perl and Python, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can see here you pass the configuration file scripts with the dash I option and then it shows you its usage and an example. Now if you're saying I don't know how to use Python, I've never used Python before, uh, I have a Windows operating system, this is clearly Linux, uh, how is this going to help me? I'm going to show you. So fire up your, your web browser. You just need to go to python.org slash downloads and it's going to detect your uh, you're on Windows. So it's going to say, hey, download the latest version of Windows here. You click this, you download it, and then you install it. It's it's all uh, next, 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 finish. There's no questions. Um, after it's completed the installation, there'll be a little question. They'll say, uh, uh, it's not really a question. It'll be an option to click and it'll, it'll say uh, remove file path limits. Go ahead and do that. It's going to need administrative privileges to do it, but do that step there. Uh, if it doesn't install pip, which is the package manager platform for Python, you don't need it, so don't worry about running through and installing it. You don't need it for this this purpose, this exercise here. So once you download and install Python, there's some verification steps you can run through. Um, you probably don't need them. If you do need them, just uh, Google, you know, verify installation Windows Python and the first result or the second result that pops up will be very easy to walk through the instructions, make complete sense. It's super simple. I'm not going to cover it in this video though. So once we have Python installed on, on our Windows operating system, we then need to uh, log into the firewall that we want to export the scripts from and pull a backup from it. And if you don't know yet, you can do that by going to up here and then configuration and backup. And then we don't want to encrypt it. We're going to back up to the local PC. We click OK, and it downloads it for you. I would suggest moving your um, Python script that you grabbed from here, this FortiGate policies to csv.py. I would suggest grabbing that and then grabbing your configuration file and moving it to a temporary location where you can work with it. In this case, I made a folder called TMP and it's on uh, the root of C, so C temp. I moved everything in there. I've got my policies. I've got my uh, configuration. And at this point, it's just a matter of opening a command prompt, changing directory into that that folder there, and then running, you know, policies. I named it policies out.py, dash I, and then you give it the configuration. Once you do that, it runs. Now you can see I have a new file there policies out.csv. If we open this up, you can see now we have our configuration with all the formatting removed and just the uh, semicolon delimited data that we need. Now that we have this, we can open it up in Excel and then compare it to, uh, you know, Checkpoint or Juniper or Cisco or whatever other vendor that there is. And this could make your comparison uh, to identify 
that you have all the all the policies in place that you think you have much much easier so there you have it i hope this helped uh i know it was kind of uh quick and dirty it was a crash course but uh just getting a little bit of a walkthrough and pointing out that you don't need to do all these steps here on the uh the technical tip page from fortinet uh letting you know that the script exists if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. I appreciate thumbs up. And of course, if you can subscribe to this channel, hit the bell for notifications. You will find out every time I release a new video in the Fortinet series, the NSC series, but any new video in general. If I didn't already say it, my name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career. Have a good one.